I'm Ria and this is Bertie and welcome to Valley Fusion. Today I'm going to show you four quick and easy exercises to help improve posture. So these are really great if you spend a lot of time sitting down at a computer for example or if you spend a lot of time in front of the TV watching hours and hours of shows or even driving long distances it can all be really bad for our spine and our posture. We can create a lot of twisting. We can also get some atrophy, so we start to lose strength in our glutes, our legs, and our core. So these exercises should help to strengthen your core, lengthen your spine, and help to straighten and realign everything up. So the first one, we're gonna be using the bar. Oh, you brought a ball, thank you. <laughs> Um, so you can use a chair or a countertop, anything that's around waist or hip height. We're going to just turn our feet out slightly so we've got a neutral, gentle first position. So the first thing that's really important is we're going to squeeze our bottoms. So imagine you've got a penny or a 50p piece between your butt cheeks. I'm going to hold it there the whole time. So squeeze those glutes, let's really wake them up. And then engage your core, so pull your abdominal muscles in and engage them. Think about drawing your belly button in slightly. And the last thing to think about here is shoulders. We want to drop our shoulders and relax them. So no tension here. Holding lightly onto the bar, look straight ahead, keep that neck nice and long. And we're going to lift one foot up, just placing the toe below the knee. This is a bit like a tree position in yoga. We want this knee to turn out towards the side of the room. Squeeze everything. So remember, squeeze the bottom, pull in the abs, relax the shoulders and keep the neck long. Find your balance by bringing one arm off the bar and then the other and hold the position. It looks easy, but it can be tricky to get the balance. Hold for four seconds or longer, and gently lower down. Repeat on the other leg. Repeat as many times as you can, and do that one as often as you can. It's a really, really nice one for helping our bodies learn what good posture is and getting into those really good habits. Okay, so I'm going to move the bar out of the way. The next three are all on the floor, so you all your knees are the mat. Find the puppy. So this next one is a simple standing and breathing exercise. The breathing is really important because it's going to help to create space in your spine and oxygenate your muscles as you go. So again, a gentle first position. Just turn those toes out towards the corner. We don't want to overturn here. I want to have a nice, solid base to stand and balance on. Squeezing the glutes, bringing those abs in and engaging them. Shoulders relaxed. We're going to take a quarter bra. So arms to first position. Out to second and inhale. Fold forwards. Exhale. Lower the arms and drop the head. And roll back up, pulling your core in. Repeat. Out. Inhale and exhale over. Rolling up. Two more of these. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Drop the head. And again. Good. Now lowering the arms to roll bar, we're just going to take Four, rise and lower. So bring the arms all the way up to fifth as you rise, breathing in. And lower, exhale. Think about growing really tall here. And stay tall as you lower. We're elongating the spine. using our core to keep that balance. Good, the 
doesn't that feel nice? All right. So the next one is a down dog to plank to child's pose. So you'll know this really well if you've done any yoga before. We do this a lot in our ballet fitness classes. This is a super lovely stretch, but also core is going to work quite hard as we move from that dog into our plank. So you can start straight into down dog, or you can come through a tabletop with your hands under your shoulders and your knees under your hips. Tucking those toes, push up into a down dog. So when you get here, gently drive your heels into the floor. Keep your fingers spread. And then pull your shoulders down away from your ears and your shoulder blades towards one another. Pull your belly button in and look through those legs. Keep a gentle eye line. We're going to hold this for four counts. Two. One, now push forward into a high plank. Shoulders over hands here. Engage your core, squeeze your bottom, pull your shoulder blades back. Two, three, four. Now gently lower the knees to the floor. Untuck your toes and push your bottom back onto your heels. Dropping the head to the mat. Just hold this stretch. <laughs> Hopefully you have got a puppy at the moment of mine. And then we're going to just do that three more times. So back up into that down dog. Hold for four. Two, three, four. Forward into high plank. Hold. Two, three, Four, gently lowering the knees, untucking the toes, push back into child pose. And hold. Two, three, four. Good. Into dog. Third time through. Take the stretch a little bit further every time. Enjoy that stretch. Three, four. Into plank. Spread those fingers. Looking down at your mat. Three, four, drop the knees and push back into child pose. <laughs> Last time through, down dog. Here we go. Bertie, you're not helping at all. Three, four, forward high plank. Two, Three, four, drop those knees gently and stretch that child pose through. Keep those arms long and breathe. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> That's a little down dog from Bertie. So our last exercise is just a simple ballet chest lift. For this, we're lying down on the mat, face down. Now we get rid of him for about two seconds. So we want our nose to the mat. We're going to point the feet away from us and squeeze the bottom gently just to make sure that we're tucking our tailbone. If we let the bottom stick up, we're going to put some pressure on our lower back and we don't want that, so we want to keep it nice and strong. Arms out to the side, nose to the floor, and we're going to gently lift up, keep looking down, and then gently lower down. Three more of these. Lifting the chest off, keep that neck long, and down. <laughs> Two. And down. Last one here. And down. Good. And then, of course, if you want to stretch this out, you can just come through the tabletop. Stretch through a cat. Curve the spine and then push back into another child's pose. And we're done. So I hope you found that useful, that nice 
easy to do exercises. You can repeat them as many times as you want and as often as you want. Just remember you want to keep that core really nice and strong. If you start to feel it getting weak, that's when you know you need to stop and take a break. So from me and Bertie, <laughs> thanks a lot. See you again soon.